now on this cold morning, and it really is, my fingers are kind of frozen a bit, I want to have a go with this little UMX P51D Mustang. This one gets a little confusing because it seems to me they've brought out two or three UMX Mustangs over the time. Yeah, I think at least two, possibly three. And this is about the oldest of them. This is just a brushed one cell version. I think they brought, they might have brought out a brushless version. Uh, uh, and they had a two cell version, I think. This is the oldest anyway, this is the Park Zone uh, Mustang. Last time I had this out and made a video of it, I was expressing doubts about it because it hardly flew, but I think that was because the battery was dubious. I've got the transmitter turned on to the right model. I have flown it since and it seemed to fly quite well with a good battery. So I'm hoping that it'll fly okay now. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're, we're live. Right, left, right, left, up, down. Yeah. I'm not sure I'd want to fly this indoors. That's what I was wondering, is whether I want to fly it indoors. The problem is, well, speed and turning circle. I mean, yes, it could fly indoors, but the problem is you've got very little space. It's some, the community centre we fly in is only about as wide as this runway and nowhere near as long as this runway. So you've got to keep turning all the time, uh, which is a lot more comfortable to do in a plane that flies a bit slower and that turns easily. If you're flying a plane that fares fairly, flies fairly fast and is a bit, you're kind of having to push it and lean it over an awful lot to turn it, it's a bit of bit, a bit stressful. Anyway, let's give him a go. We'll take throttle cut off. Art off and give him a go. Well, try not to go into the sun. The sun's up there, you know, and uh, I don't want to fly into it because uh, it's going to blind me. He's not really, you know, naturally enough being a warbird. He's not particularly keen on fly. He flies, I think he flies okay, but he's not very keen on flying slowly. I'm trying to fly him slowly and I'll stall him if I'm not careful because he really is not terribly fond of flying slowly. He's not meant to be a slow flyer. Although actually he doesn't seem to be flying slowly too badly here, but I mean, I'm going to over push it at some point and stall him, I guess. If I can fly him this slowly, then yes, I can probably fly him indoors, okay. He's not really, I'm flying him at, oh, about one third throttle here. I'm just trying to see if he'd, how well he'd work indoors. He, he needs some right trim as well, he's, he's turning left. I mean, I want, I'm trying to turn him in left circles here, but he's also turning left, kind of. He's sort of turning left without me asking him to turn left, so I'm trying to give him a bit of right trim there. Yeah, quite a lot of right trim. It's almost flying straight now, I think. Hands off. Still going slightly left. Yeah, now I think he's almost going straight. That's quite a lot of right trim I put into him, but he's going more or less straight now. If I put him straight, he's staying straight. Whereas before, every time I put the stick in the center, he was turning left. Um, this is a, you know, it's a four channel plane. So, I mean, it can do, well, it won't hang on its prop. You can't really expect it to. And I wasn't really trying to there, to be honest. But, uh, and it's only a brushed motor. But, um, you know, yes, he's fully... Uh, whoops. See what I'm doing there. I lost orientation there for a minute. Uh, where he went into, you know, into the brightness there. I got confused which way around was, fortunately. He came out of it okay. Oh, well, I, yes, I mean, I say I've only got a four minute timer or whatever on here because I don't, I, I wouldn't expect him to fly for very long. Although, actually, uh, that was based on the 150 milliamp hour batteries that he originally flew with. Well, I say originally, I bought him used. So, you know, I've not had him since he was new. I bought him in good condition, but I bought him used. 
Uh, that was for 150 milliamp hour batteries though, basically, that timer. And I've got a 220 milliamp hour tattoo battery in him now, so he probably would fly for longer than the timer says on this battery. Well, he doesn't roll worth a damn, I have to say. Maybe he needs more aileron, uh, maybe he needs more aileron rates because I was trying to, basically trying to do an Immelman there, but he won't do the roll. He doesn't roll well enough to do an Immelman at the moment, really at the moment. That's not relevant for indoors because I wouldn't try and do that indoors anyway. <laughs> for indoors, all I'm going to try and do is slow circles. Ah! Some planes I loop indoors, that's about as exciting as I get indoors. You've really not got much room indoors. If a plane's behaving very well, I'll, I'll take it into the center of the arena and loop it, but that's about as exciting as I get indoors. Uh, but uh, he certainly doesn't seem to have much of a roll rate, but he, he loops fine. He has ailerons, he, he is four channel. Oh, the the, the transmitter is going to start counting down now because we're expiring. Yes, yeah, so you're expiring our time. Okay, well we'll bring him in anyway. I mean, we can see what he's doing. Actually, he probably would. Could you probably could fly him in the arena because yeah, I mean, landing these little things on the grass is, you know, looks as if the wheel may have fallen off there. He's not going to, the problem with trying to land him on the grass, yes, the wheel has totally come off. Did it break or did it, you know, yes, it's actually, what it's done is it's, it's actually broken off the piece of plastic that's supposed to hold the wheel there, off the wing. But it's very hard because they're not going to run at all on the grass, so landing him on the grass is kind of tricky. Yeah, I mean, the wheel is supposed to clip into a piece of plastic and we've, broken the piece of plastic off the wing it's come complete it's not broken the foam it's just the glues parted <laughs> just spin him up a little bit more there uh, i see he's had his He's had his vertical stabilizer repaired a bit there. Yeah, you see, that's the aileron movement. He's not got a lot of aileron movement. He's going to need more aileron movement than that, I think, if he's going to roll decently. Well, that's in mid rates, but there was plenty of movement in the other controls in mid rates, but not in the aileron. That's the AS3X chattering. He doesn't have safe, but he does have AS3X. Anyway, he looks a bit sad now with that wing off, but really it's not a major deal. We just, uh, we just need to glue it back on. Uh, the, P, the old Park Zone P51 brushed uh, Ultra Micro uh, Mustang P51D.